Hey, hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Golang in Windows. Basically, Golang is also called as a Go programming language. Yeah. So in this video, I'm going to quickly walk you through the only minimum certain steps that are required to follow to install the Golang language in your Windows system. Okay. So for this case, there are only two steps. Okay. First of all, you know, you have to go to the go.dev yeah? and the page will look like something like this. Download and install Go. Yeah. In this one, then you go to this button called Download Go for Windows. Once you click on this one, you will need to redirect to the path where you need to keep that .msi file because you are downloading .msi file here, right? And once the .msi file is downloaded in a certain folder, maybe in the download folder, right? After that, you know, you're going to use admin privilege and install this, you know, nothing but, you know, you're going to run this .msi file, which will eventually pop up something, you know, a page, something like this, okay, which will take certain time okay you need to follow the uh, this wizard yeah uh, like you know by basically you know you need to use the default configurations if you are not uh, you know comfortable with using the default configurations uh, maybe you know you can point the installation path to some other files okay generally or, or some other files some other path as well yeah so basically this is what it looks you know when finally you accept the uh, you know uh, the basic uh, configurations of this installation and uh, this is where it looks okay generally if you see it's a bit delayed installation i can say uh, but i you know actually it is it is at the end of the stage okay let's wait for a few more minutes okay this is the end of the you know like a last step when you are installing the go programming language yeah all right so let's wait for a few more minutes so once the you know once this installation goes successful then you know you need to you need to validate whether the installation is successful or not. So how to do that? I'm going to show you that as well. So basically, let's wait for you know one or two minutes. Okay, basically, you know this video you now shows you the complete live, right? So how did I install Go in my uh, Go programming language in my Windows system? Yeah. All right. If I open this, um, it's currently registering the product. It's a lengthy. Generally, it's a lengthy installation. I can say in Windows, but whereas in the other systems. For example, currently I'm since I'm use Windows, okay, for my uh, uh, you know for my usage purpose. Henceforth, I'm showing the Windows. But let's say if you are going for Linux one, maybe you know the commands are very straightforward. For example, if I go to the so here is the page, okay. So in this one, you just need to run the command. That's all, right? So for Linux, this is very straightforward. And after that, you know, once you run the uh, uh, command, then you know you're gonna uh, uh, add the paths, right? Then we verify. Yeah, that's how it works for the Linux. Whereas for the Mac, right, it, it to be same for as you know, uh, as as Linux as well, right? And finally, you're gonna you know verify with using this command. Right now, we are doing for Windows, so let's see. Yeah, here you go, right? It has successfully you know installed the GoLang in my Windows system. I'm gonna click the final step called Finish. Yeah, all right. So that's all done. So this also it's very simple, right? I have downloaded it. I kept in a path. I clicked on it. Yeah, that's all. So if I can show you again. Right click on this one, yeah, and uh, and choose the install path. So if you go to the install, right, since it is installed, maybe it will identify and say, you know, it's, it's already installed, yeah. Okay, all right, so this is how you need to follow, right? So basically, since I installed, it says refer or change, repair or change and all. I'm going to cancel this, yeah, and uh, finally, let's check the versions, okay, to check if the installation is went fine or not, I'm going to use PowerShell. I'm going to use the command tool called PowerShell and then there we check now there we check whether you know the Golang is installed or not so for that case what we're going to do is we're going to run a command for Windows if I go to the Windows so in the Windows it says just run run this command that is go version right so if I go this one currently this is loading so I will just open this up yeah so finally you know once I confirm that you know uh, the go version you know it's giving us some certain uh, you know uh, output which which indicates that you know it has successfully installed okay you can check either from the cmd as well but in this case you know i'm using powershell because i'm comfortable with the powershell you know uh, powershell uh, utility yeah all right so here you go so it's just loaded so let's see you know let's see if we are done with our go installation okay all right it's taking some time so maybe uh, we'll wind up right now so yeah, so this is the last step we're gonna do is we're gonna run this one. Yeah, so I'll just copy this. All right, and I'm gonna type this. 
right so I'll just type go version so go go version so test second go go version and enter it right so when you type go version it should respond something okay which means that you know it has successfully installed okay here you go go version is 1.18 windows amd 64 yeah so that's all for now i have successfully shown you the things to be you know shown in this video only for you know how to install and confirm you know how you know uh, uh, the go in your windows system yeah thank you very much for watching my videos uh, you know let's see in the next videos as well yeah thank you